<laughs> All right, Tyson, I want to start with you. Uh, you have such a great attitude throughout the match, win or lose. There are a lot of players, like you said before, that chirp a lot. Do you ever hold it against them post-match, or is it something you just let go? No, I got to focus on myself out here. I'm not focused on anybody else. Uh, I got kids to feed, uh, have a beautiful family. And so uh, if guys want to flex or do stuff like that, you know, that's that's their own that's their own deal. It doesn't phase me, it doesn't bother me. Um, and uh, if that's what gets them fired up, kudos to them. But um, I'm focused on my partner. If I if I do show passion, uh, it's generally towards my wife, like I was mentioning yesterday. Uh, I'm definitely not one to get in anybody's face or any of that. And uh, yeah, it was a very good day. <clears throat> uh, Catherine, you and Tyson are both so fluid when you play. How is that chemistry formed when you guys don't even live in the same state? Uh, it's kind of easy to get along with Tyson. He's so easygoing. I just love playing with him. He's super positive. You know, if, if even if we're down or up, it doesn't matter. He's always positive. Um, and I just, I really like playing next to him. And from your podcast and your reels on Instagram, how important is the aspect of social media when trying to grow the game of pickleball? Yeah, I think it's super necessary. Uh, the sport's not big enough um, yet, so you have to be a little creative with your content. Uh, kind of my whole spiel was over COVID. I was working for a camp business called Level Up Pickleball Camps. During that time, ended up resigning and started my own camp business called Tyson McGuffin Center PB Camps. If you guys want to get McGuffin today, get your <laughs> over to my website, TysonMcGuffin.com, and either get McGuffin or come get K-Mac'd. Uh, but I think it's very necessary. Um, you have to be transparent through your content. It's a good way for brands to get to see you through your content. Um, if you're not playing on championship court, then it's kind of tough for brands to see you. And so uh, even though I have been very successful and, I, and I'm generally on championship court, um, I just wanted to try to be the most marketable guy, uh, the most marketable guy out there. I try to be larger in life with my brand. Uh, I give a lot of credit and a lot of success to my uh, beautiful princess over here. Uh, she's the hawk that kind of looks down. She's the real entrepreneur. I'm just the entertainer and the personality and the uh, beautiful teeth, you know what I mean? Um, but I know I think it's super necessary for, for players that are not doing social media, shame on you. I think it's a, it's a good way to really uh, open up your brand. It's a good way for brands to get to see you and um, uh, I'm not going to mention how many brand endorsements I have, but it's uh, I'm, I'm definitely sitting pretty. Catherine, do you have anything to add? Ooh, I don't know <laughs> what I can add after this. No, but I think it's important. I think it brings a lot of more eyeballs on our sport, and I think um, it's needed for sure on social media. Awesome. That's all I have. Sweet. Cool. Thank Great. you. Thanks, guys. Good day. It's a good day, Mom.